Welcome to Ring Central Coliseum in Oakland, home of the A's. Fourth of July baseball coming at you. It's the Toronto Blue Jays going up against the Oakland Athletics. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. And on the hill in this one, Frankie Montas. And singing, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look off, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Bulbashev stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. First pick, 607. Out to short. Muncie collects it. Fires over to first. And a quick out number one. Rymel Tapia up to hit. Left fielder, Rymel Tapia. First pitch doesn't find the zone. No score just getting started top of the first. And it's even up. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. On a line, base hit. One down. Third. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. You know, when Vladimir you look around the Guerrero game and think about Jr. the best power hitters in the sport, this guy is one of the first names you got to come up with. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. So up next for Toronto, George Springer. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. First offering, and it just misses. Right-hander kicks, deals. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two-ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Tapia over at second. Guerrero at first. One gone. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Tapia headed for the plate. He scores and they have the lead. One nothing. Fires the second too late. And he's got a double. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Smoked on the ground a second. The throw to first. Run scores. And that makes it 2 nothing as they get the out. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Hernandez. Right now third in the American League in RBIs. First pitch, and he just misses. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next pitch misses outside, and it's 2-0. Oh. At the belt, and fires. That's a base hit as a run scores. But well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like Matt. he did right there. Two outs, runner at first. Here's Matt Chapman. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. He's going. Here goes the runner. Foul ball there. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. He's going, he's going. Rudder goes again. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. On a line out towards center. Flashes the leather on the running catch. 
And that is that. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Blue Jays three. And the Athletics coming to bat. Bottom of the first, our starting pitcher in this one, Kevin Gossman. His career ERA has been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's a speed threat. Christian Pache. Leading off. And here it comes. The There's a strike. They're off to a great start. Three-run lead after their first inning, but so important to be airtight defensively. Don't give away extra outs and allow that other club to get back in this ballgame. Righty delivers. The punch out there. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Digging in for Oakland, Max Muncy. Boog, he was shopping at the buckle right there, the way that slider made him look. That was just nasty. Swing and a ball popped up. Puts the squeeze on that one. That's out number two. That two includes. outs, base is empty. The second base Here's Tony Kemp. Tony. Kemp. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Chopper right side. Fires over to Guerrero. Inning over. And the A's are gone in order. They trail in this one, 3-0. Top of the second, and now for the Jays, Samad Taylor. Leading off from Toronto. The wind in the pitch. The second baseman, Samad. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Right side. To first, one up, one down. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put the that ball in the air or up. get through it. Just Short pours time. in on the hands. Bo Back to the Bichette. top of the lineup. Bo Bichette up to the dish. He's all for one. Up the middle. And that one finds its way through. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Man at first with one yeah, gone. Rymel Tapia now Rymel. at the plate. And that's in there for strike one. And a pitch. Just missed. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. The 1-1. One -one. There's the strike. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot. Bichette goes. Next offering is foul back. Runner on the go again. Pitch is high. Throw to second. Great jump. And that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. When your catcher's not a great thrower, you have to do a better job at controlling the running game. And that's throwing over, that's stepping off, doing whatever you can to try to keep that base dealer's rhythm off. Well, they weren't able to do it right there. They're going to have to make some type of adjustment or guys are going to be running all game. How about it? Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That's a base hit, run scores. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do George. some damage, and he squared it up nicely. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. Springer enters the day third in the American League batting race. Two outs. Foul ball. Guerrero, the runner at first with two gone. In the air, right field, Brown. Moving under this one. He's got it, and that will end the inning. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Blue Jays four and the A's nothing. 
and welcome back. And now the right fielder, Seth Brown. The athletic. The pitch. The right fielder. There's the strike. Seth Brown. Kicks and fires. Nope. Off the mark All there. One. And the count even one and one. Boog, one of our favorites. Jerry Hillsdale umpiring behind home plate in this one. Pretty much by the book with his strike zone. And because he's so by the book, you'll sometimes see pitchers questioning him. They'll make a good pitch on the edge of the zone, want the strike, and not get the call. But most of the time, Jerry gets it right. He's a good one. Tapia under it. And it's caught for the out. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, the away. Base and down Defense. and why those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball foul back our way and that's out of play righty to the plate and a swing and a miss there as the game has moved along we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires i've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys nicknames hometowns and as well hobbies listed just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. He's in a great spot right here, ahead in the count 0-2. All four pitches in play right here, partner. Nope. Next offering misses, and that is ball one. And he deals. Foul ball, he stays alive. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Nothing doing there for the A's. They're down 4 nothing. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Now it's the Toronto designated hitter, Lourdes Goriel Jr. Montas back to work. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Well, I think this is an important inning on the mound for him in this game. He's got to find a way to settle things down and give some length in this start. Next pitch misses. Now 2-0. and oh. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. That to right. Brown in position. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one down. The batter. And now right Teoscar Hernandez. Teoscar. That one is absolutely belted back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Matt now Chapman batted. up to the plate Good now. Reason. Good power. Not yeah. great in the OBP department. And it's fouled away. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Well, pretty clear to me, he's trying to go deep right there. But you've got to get a pitch that you can handle. And that one is lifted in the air. Drops into the glove. And that is the third out of the inning. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays, but they lead it four to nothing. Bottom of the inning. Here's the left fielder, Lazaro Armentero. The There's a strike. The left fielder, Lazaro Armentero. Next nope. pitch misses inside. And one and one. And the righty deals. And fouled off. And a pitch. And now the count is even. Stays alive. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Grabs it on the run. And there's one down. Batting Jeremy Ironman up next base for base. the A's. Jeremy Ironman. That first offering is fouled off. Hey. 
Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, and two now. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And there's two down. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens? This to center field. And that is Springer. And that'll do it. And one, two, three, go the A's. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Back in Oakland, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Reese McGuire. Reese McGuire. The right-hander back to work. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Brings it in, and there's one down. Samad Taylor next up for the Blue Jays. Bounced up the middle. And there's a hit. And now the lineup turns over with one away. Now it's the shortstop, Bo Bichette. Bo Bichette. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Taylor leads off first with one away. Next one misses two and one. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact, so not getting run around the goal. In the air, fairly deep to right field. And there's two away. Man at first. Now right the left field. fielder, Rymel Rymel Tapia. Tapia. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. It's a pitch out. Go to second. And, out. and that will end the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Welcome back. Here's Christian Pache. The pitch. Leading off. This one high in the air to left center. Christian. That one opts against the fence. And that's a leadoff double. Striding to the plate now for Oakland. Max Muncy. Hold for one. He was robbed of a hit on a diving catch his first time off. Muncy. This one popped up. That gets down for a hit. Pache around third. He scores. It's 4-1. And he's got a double. Just a blue hit behind third right there. And that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop no to get to. And the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Line drive, and that one gets down. Fair ball. Run comes in from second, and now just a two-run deficit. And in its second with an RBI double. Well done. Drives in the run. He got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do with pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. Tapia makes the grab, and there's one down. Here's Steven Piscotti. Now first base pick, number 25. In there for strike one. Piscotti. And a pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. Kemp, the runner at second with one away. And that chance handled in plenty of time. The first two gone now. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got now the ground ball. Catcher. And first offering is fouled off. Runner at second, two down. The next offering misses. And now it's even one and one. Next pitch downstairs, and it's two and one. Left-hand batter waits. 
And one fouled off, two and two. Tying run at the plate. And a foul ball, he stays alive. You know, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups, probably won't see another one here. Just inside the line, and it's down for a nine. Hernandez to second, and he's in there. A run comes in on the play. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Armenteros in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. The one, two. And the one two misses to even the count. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a two two. Now that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. We played four. It's the Blue Jays four and the A's three. Back here in the East Bay. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now the number two hitter, Rymel Tapia. Hawaii to kick the pitch. And that's through there for a strike. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And there's one away. Now and next for Toronto, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. On the ground to the left. Rolls across the diamond. Two up, two down. Now two outs, base is empty. Fielder. Now the Toronto four-hole hitter, George Springer. Swung on, belted. That's back there. And that one is out of here. George Springer leaves the yard, and they tack one on the board. It's 5-3. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it, and it went a long way. Here's Lourdes Gurriel, Jr., up next for the Blue Jays, the designated hitter. Portis. High fly ball out to center field. Pache on the move. Racing makes the catch. And that's the inning. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a 5-3 ball game. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Digging in for Leading Oakland, off, Jeremy A. Ironman. The third baseman, Jeremy Ironman. pitch that misses one and oh and there's a foul ball swing and a miss and it's one and two this one in the air right field Hernandez moving under it one away now batting, the There's Logan Davidson. Logan Davidson. And a foul ball. The pitch. Swings and misses. And it's 0-2. 
stays alive. And the pitch. Rips that one center field. Springer there makes the catch. Two down. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. And makes the grab. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Ryan Cusick. This is his fifth appearance of the year. So at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he made a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And here is Matt Chapman. Next pitch is popped up. Muncie under it. He makes the grab, two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing yeah, on it. it. Just got underneath it a little it. bit and popped it up. Reese. Two outs, base is empty. Reese McGuire digs in now. That one to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Two, three, four, two up in the home half of the six. It's the Blue Jays five and the A's three. Bottom of the six. And now the shortstop, Max Muncy. First pitch, not a close. Max Muncy. At the belt and fires. Bounce to the left side. Bichette picks it up. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Tony Kemp up next for the A's. Tony. That's yeah. towards center, and that is Springer. Makes the grab, and there are two outs. Now so here's Brown at the no plate. Right First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Liner to second, it picked on the hop. On to first, third out. Back in Oakland, now it's the second baseman, Samad Taylor. Leading off and here it comes. The second baseman, Samad. Line to second, Taylor. snagged on the bounce. Kemp gets it to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Now, now here's the leadoff man for the Blue Jays, Bo oh. Bichette. Bichette. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. One down, base is empty. Hot shot to third. Throwing the dirt, and he can't come up with it. Just now a bad. poor throw, no matter Nobody how you look at it. Wide of the bag, short hopped him at first. He did what he could to try to pick it, but... It might have been better for him to come off the bag, wear it off the body, just try to keep it in front. Either way, that was going to be a throwing error. One gone runner at first. So up next for Toronto, Rymel Tapia. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Didn't take long to get a result for that now at bat. bat. Didn't try to do the too much with it. Just a really a controlled, here. simple yeah. swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. At the play, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The 0-1. On the ground, left side. Six, four. Three, it's a double play, and that'll do it for the end. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice speed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Bottom of the seventh, and now the first baseman, Steven Piscotti. Gosman, back to the work. First baseman. And takes Steven. low for ball one. Ball one no Piscotti. And the right-hander deals. That misses the zone. And that's ball two. Right-hander kicks deals. And a swing and a miss. So impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. And a pop-up. Right side, foul territory. 
Guerrero puts it away. One up, one down. Stephen Book up next for the A's. One for two. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Inside, ball one. High fly ball out into left center field. Makes the grab for the second out. Now Here's Lazaro Armenteros. Lazaro. That one's in there, 0 1. one. You'll want. And that one fouled off. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. A's go quickly and quietly there. They're still down, 5 3. We go to the eighth, and the batter is George Springer. Leading off with the future, the center field. The right hander back to work. George Springer. That one's in there. It's 0 1. Up the middle. Kemp gets it to first. One up, one down. And here is. The designated hitter, Mortis Gurriel. First offering misses the mark. Right handed reliever. Smash to the left side. Over to first. And a couple of quick outs. Two outs, bases empty. Teoscar Hernandez next up for the Blue Jays. And first offering is fouled off. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. It's been a solid inning so far in relief. Getting them through this inning only down two can give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind their way back into this game with the few outs that they have left. Brown makes the catch, and that'll do it. Yeah. Out of the bottom of the eighth. Striding to the plate now for Oakland. Leading Jeremy Ironman. Nope. First pitch doesn't baseball. find the zone. Jeremy Ironman. Riding to the plate. And now it's even up. Pitch. Fouled off left side. The next pitch misses. The count now two and two. Got him. And one out now. And now the DH, Logan Davidson. The designated hitter. And that's in there for strike one. Ground ball right side. Fires over to Guerrero. Two up, two down. And now the center fielder, Christian Pache. One for three. First offering, and it just misses. And the 1 0. He was late there, strike one. This one in the air center field. Springer on the move. Squeezes it. And that ends the inning. And the A's are gone in order. Still a two-run deficit. It's 5-3. Back here. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. Wind in the pitch. 
Left field way back there. That's bad. And it banks off the top of the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No now messing back. around right there. He absolutely Reed. ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong balance swing and a fraction of an inch different on the bat, and it is probably out of here. The flip to the pitcher covering. Pitcher gets to the back for the out. Here's the second baseman, Saman Taylor. And now the runner breaks for the plate, and it's a squeeze. Ken. They get the out, but the suicide squeeze works, and a run scores on the play. Bobachek gets a chance to hit. Swing, and a ball popped up, and it falls. And that extends the inning. And now for the Jays, Rymel Tapia. Up next for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, Rymel Bichette goes. They pitch out. Go to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. 2 3 4 set to hit in the bottom of the nine. It's the Blue Jays 6 and the A's 3. The Athletics in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. You need a good at bat out of him right here. We're back. And on the mound is the closer, Jordan Romano. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. The next one is off the plate. One and one. Next pitch is outside. And he deals. Good eye in that spot. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. And here it comes. Fouled off again. And it remains 3-2. Here comes a 3-2. Calls it in, and there's one away. The batter, Tony five. Kemp, up Second next for the A's. Tony. First pitch, and he just misses. Left-hand hitter waits. Pitch is in for a strike. And a count even at one. Righty delivers. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Makes a nice running catch. Two down. Two outs, bases empty. Here's the Oakland cleanup hitter, Seth Brown. In there for strike one. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Another outing, another save. That's his 20th of the season. And this was a good example of why they rely on him so heavily in these close games. 6-3 our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shambi saying so long.